This is Serenity Leisure's video for this 2009 Auto Trail Dakota SE, recently arrived with us, April 2020. Uh, the video has been made in connection with photographs and editorial, no doubt you've already seen, and this uh, gives us a good opportunity to point out any uh, defects of the camper, markings to the outside, etc. So, um, Auto Trail need no introduction, they're a sort of high end. British manufacturer of motorhomes, been building them for many, many years now. Um, renowned for their quality and their spec and sort of quite unique design. Dakota is a four berth uh, motorhome with a fixed French bed. Um, quite a striking camper. Uh, so markings to this side, well there aren't any, nothing at all that you're going to be able to fault the camper on. It's very, 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 very clean. Uh, no sort of nasty cracks in any of the plastics all the bumpers back end is much the same in terms of condition the frontier sort of distinctive uh, back ends and then down this side much the same regarding condition uh, it does have a very good service history somebody has stuck a lot of service stickers on the side but uh, we can take all those off if you don't like them um, but it's got a file full of service bills and all sorts of bits and pieces inside uh, alloy wheels, tyres are Michelin camping tyres and have got at least 6mm of tread left on them. Um, there's your uh, uh, gas bottle storage on this side. It has a 4m um, wind out awning, sun canopy and a, uh, a grab handle on the outside which you can use for security and it's got a SOG unit on the outside as well. Right, internally. So. Um, starting with the cab, so this is the 3 litre, 160 brake horsepower, electric windows, central locking, power steering, cruise control, cab air conditioning, Remis blinds to enclose it, adjustable steering column, both seats swivel as well, which is obviously important because they really integrate into the lounge and then give you um, yeah, basically a lot more space, almost like the feeling of an A-class but not quite, it's a little drop down. TV here and then uh, being the low line this area up here you use it obviously for storage and then if I just swivel this around this gives you the sort of full layout of the Dakota so two sort of long uh, or one one particularly long bench seat uh, this comes out and turns into a double bed if you want it to uh, meets this one here this turns uh, it's sort of part of the double bed or you can just use the other one as a long single that table just comes out and stows away ease of use um, it's all been converted to LED lighting incidentally to the interior uh, furnishings are very nice got the sort of lighter colored upholstery which uh, seems to be more popular you've got concertina blinds all the way around decent sized galley and no markings to the worktops no indentations cookers very good yeah nothing at all super super critical very common see on the edge of here you've got some very slight chipping on the enamel black but that's the only thing you're going to fault this galley on and as I said, that has been super critical. Uh, you've got the Tetford, large Tetford fridge freezer here. The area above you can use for a microwave if you want. Just put one in there, it's got a plug socket and everything. And then, so you've got a decent sized wardrobe here with the. Um, uh, heating system below, it's Truma blown air heating. Another little sort of wardrobe there with sock drawers, etc., underneath. And then um, a very good, decent sized fixed bed, French bed style, so it's set or slightly offset. Uh, your television, incidentally, would go up there uh, if you want to put one in the bedroom. And what happens is that this goes up and opens up this area here, doing this with one hand, and then encloses the TV. And then you've got a um, sort of, um, you can look all the way through the camper. 
USB charging points as well. Uh, then you've got a good bathroom here, integrated uh, sink, and then obviously the Tetford C250 swivel toilet, and then an enclosed shower with a bifold door. So plenty of room in there to have a decent shower. And if you want to separate the bedroom, you just pull this concert door here, uh, concertina door here across, and that separates you from everybody else. That's assuming you've got anybody else in the camper. If not, just leave it open and use the other blinds around all the windows. Uh, very nice condition to the inside, been very well looked after and, and extremely well maintained. This is a very, very nice example of the uh, Autotrail uh, Dakota. Okay, uh, that completes Serenity Leisure's video for this uh, 2009 Autotrail.